Hey guys, and how about we play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Red Rescue Team. We're gonna head straight out, and I think that we're actually gonna head straight for the clouds. Because I know that we have some missions that we could do, but really, like, I feel that I might be prepared. Because the last place we went to, you know, Magma Cavern or whatever it was called, where we faced off against Groudon, it was easy! Like, I didn't- well, it wasn't easy, per se. But I didn't use any of the- Oh, okay. I didn't use any of the five Reviver Seeds that I brought with me. Groudon himself was easy, like, the Pokemon within the caverns were the hardest part. And so, it's just like, you know, they were good against Cinder, and Cinder never died. He got close a couple times, but he never died. So, I think that we might be able to pull this off without really, you know, training for it. So, I'm just gonna try that. I'm gonna get ready, and we'll head out. So, since everyone's just waiting for me in the center, let's go. Riz, are you all ready for the sky? All set. Yep, looks like we're ready to go. I just have the five Reviver Seeds, and I took like three or four apples out of my storage. I bought one huge apple, which I figure I'll eat right away to expand my stomach. I think that's how it works. We'll be good. We leave tomorrow. So, let's get plenty of rest for tomorrow. Tomorrow! Tomorrow, tomorrow. Let's give it everything we can, Riz. Ah, any more dreams? More like last minute advice from Gardevoir? Looks like yes. Off to a dream sequence we go. Okay. Dots. More dots. Ugh. I feel horrible. It's like Gengar is giving me a nightmare, eating my dream, or this is a dream, dot a dot. Isn't it? But why? Why do I feel this terrible? This is... the first time... That is a Gengar! You're a little... Dang it, Gengar! How do you like Dream Eater? Horrible, isn't it? <laughs> I'm really good, I called that, like, right there. <laughs> but who would have thought you were also human before? Didn't expect that. But who cares? Someone like that's sure to be some lowlife. <laughs> I'll expose you yet. I'll expose what's in your heart with Dream Eater. <laughs> what? Only goodness and purity? Hmm? Something's coming. Is it Gardevoir? Is she gonna fight off Gengar? What? What is that light? It's coming closer? That would be kind of weird. Yay. I'm protected. Yay! <laughs> Dots. The pain. It's going away. Good. Yay, happy dream! Because my happy dreams are always green, yellowish. Gardevoir? Yay! Gardevoir, will you tell me now? Who or what am. er, not am I. I am? Yes. The time has arrived. Why you have come here? I will tell you all there is to tell. Liz, you have... come to save this world. Dots. Came to save the world of Pokémon? I did? Yes. We learned that this world faced extinction. And so we sought a hero. But though we searched, nowhere could we find our hero. We were becoming discouraged. When we came across a human. Liz. You were that human. What? Wait a second. Hero? Me? That's too much. I'm not anything special like that, question mark, exclamation point. That's not a question. Gosh dang it, that's a statement. Yes. That is also what you said the first time we met. You said you were not strong. But what we sought was not power merely for display. We sought true courage, like Captain America. True courage? That... I'm even less confident about that. That too is what you said when we met. It seems you haven't changed at all. It was then that you said this. To see if you were worthy to be our hero or not. You asked that we put you to the test. And only if you were found to be truly worthy, then you were to be told the truth. Oh. Okay, so I also just have amnesia. To fulfill your role, clear of heart and mind, you then chose to erase your memory as a human and became a Pokemon of your own will to fight alongside your friends. I'm having a great time reading this dialogue. You must be tired. <laughs> that is how you came to be in this world. I... 
I did that? Your courage has been proven. Without question, you bear the role of saving the world. And that role, it is soon coming to its end. Dots. Stopping the meteor from crashing into this world? That's my role? Yes. And when that is accomplished, you can return to your human world. Oh. So I can go back to being a human. Wait! But that means... Yes. It means... Parting ways with Cinder. Cinder. I have to leave? That's kinda, that kinda sucks though. I remember nothing about being a human. Maybe my human life was awful. Cinder feels great kinship with you, Riz. So, Riz, if you were to leave, your friend would be heartbroken. Well, thanks for making this easier, Gardevoir. I'm aware of that. But there can be nothing done. Because there are encounters, there are also farewells. Da da da. I, too, once had a friend beyond value. Truly, I cherished our friendship. But my friend has gone away. It fills me with sadness still, losing my friend. Dots. But we will meet again. That is what I believe. Uh, what, what was that? More dots. Who was it? Someone appears to have been looking into your dream. But it is fine now. Whoever it was ran off. All that remains in this dream is a feeling of sadness. That Pokemon, I think, ran off crying. Oh no, the Kekes, they can mean anything, apparently. It will be morning soon. French stuff. Yay! It's gonna give us a choice, right? As to whether or not we go back to the human world, because it'll suck otherwise. The next morning. Like, we don't want to be human. Being human sucks. We can all vouch for that, right? Nah, it doesn't suck. It's just Pokemon, you know? Doesn't really give us much of a choice there. Good morning. Did you sleep well? This is it. Let's go, Riz. We're off to the sky. All right. Off to the sky we go. Yay, I assume we go to the town square, because that's where, like, everything starts. Nope. We go down. You know, across that one bridge, right? That's not a bridge. It's not a bridge. Sky Tower, go! Here we are. Oh, wait, is that you? Ah, good of you to come. Qua! But, what's going on? What is that dude doing? It is almost ready. The teleport gem. Oh, we get a gem, sweet. Teleport gem? Qua! This really hurts! Well, imagine it could, you know, take some brain power. That could be painful. Yay, we got we got a green glowy gem. It is made. Ah, oh, tired now. This, this is the teleport gem. This will deliver you to the world of the sky. Now, Riz, accept. Riz's team received the teleport gem. Ah, oh, yeah. That was made using the powers of psychics. I thought this said Big Me first. By me, Alakazam, and... Oh? A ghost-type Pokemon. We received help from it. Gone away, it seems. Who could it be? How many ghost Pokemon could there possibly be in our little town? Hmm. Ha ha ha. It must be bashful. Let it be. It's a jerk is what it is, but it helped us, so that's good. Now... I must ask you this one last time. This journey will be fraught with considerable danger. Will you still go? Of course we will. We have to get Rayquaza to destroy that falling star, right? If that will bring peace, I'll gladly give my life for it. Hey, Cinder, we're not gonna die. We're just gonna get hurt. It's different. That's my wish. Yes. And when that wish comes true, Gardevoir said, Don't flash back! Dang it! Uh, you can return to your human world. For one line of dialogue, I can remember that. <laughs> this will be my last adventure. With Cinder. Riz, let's get this done. Nod, nod. Yep. We're counting on you. Cinder, Riz. Yay, glowy teleport gem. 
Oh, we didn't even have to touch it. Cool. All right, here we are. Sky Tower. Oh, I'm not gonna announce it yet. Little cutscene. Yay. I was like, we're dead. Ow, ow, ow. I like their little sprites. That's cute. Where are we? Wow, Riz, this is cool. We're on clouds. It's a good thing we can stand on clouds. Otherwise, like I said, that'd be painful. Probably die before we hit the ground. Oh, wow. Riz, look up there. Ah. Whoa. Tornado of clouds. Which is kind of dangerous. It's a huge tower of clouds. It's a sky tower. It's at the top of this tower. That's where Rayquaza is. Riz, let's do our best on the climb. All right, here we go. Sky Tower 1F, first floor. Ugh, okay. Why are we fighting a Shuppet up here? Well, Tackle can hit, right? Tackle can hit, okay. Please don't do a lot of damage. Because my attacks aren't seeming to do a lot, so now I'm a little worried. Okay, this place might be a little more difficult than I had at first thought. But let's see, the power band, we don't want that. And I don't want to go right away. Oh, frick, do I have anything good against Bug? No. So I'll just try everything. What about Water Gun? Okay. Do I have any Graveler Rock? No. Run, Cinder! Run! Cinder, run! 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 Never mind. You got him. Okay. We're good. Oh, bugger. Cinder. Oh. Oh, good. He's no longer cursed. Okay, because that would have been terrible if they kept going like that. Okay, fine. I won't use that. Let's use Water Gun. How about that? Crap, because he's on the clouds? That's cheating. That is bullcrap. Okay, now he's not. Is he dead? He's dead. We're good. Dang, these Pokemon, though, they have their own little twist to them. This could be an interesting place. Here we are going to the fifth floor. Nothing exciting has happened yet. Just more little battles with the Pokemon. They are tricky. Like, I've really honestly had to have Cinder defeat most of them. Okay, well, like, he's he can only hit Shedinja. No. Between the two of us, he's the only one who can hit Shedinja. And Shuppet, like, the only move that I have that really does a lot of damage is Water Gun. But all of Cinder's moves do more. So, yeah, he's really leading us here. Okay, well, I found the Detect Band. It turns out I already picked one up. In Detect Band, hold item to boost the Pokemon's evasion. So, even though I think that that stamina band is great for not making me hungry all that much, you know, I am going to totally use one, and I am going to let Cinder use one. Because that, with our IQ, might help us avoid a lot of attacks, which would really help in keeping us alive here. It's raining on the clouds. I feel like that's wrong. The 10th floor of Sky Tower. Sometimes things happen on the 10th floor, that's why I brought it up. But since the stairs are right here, we're just gonna go. Hey, coughing, goodbye, coughing. 11th floor, anything here? Just more clouds and hail. Fantastic, finding the stairs as quickly as possible. I just got Fire Blast. That could be good for Cinder. I mean, let's see, right here, let's see. Probably low PP, PP9, yeah. Fire Blast, damage on the target, burn, yeah. How powerful is it, though? Doesn't really tell me. But I still think that that would be good. So use on Cinder. We can replace... Crap, what do I want to replace? Ugh, this will be hard. I think I'm going to have to replace Ember, because Quick Attack can be useful for when he's behind me, wanting to help out in fights. Flame Wheel is still powerful, so I don't want to get rid of that. Smoke Screen, I like when they're a Wyvern, because then they can't hit me as often. So, I'm gonna replace Ember. I know that I'm gonna be missing out on a lot of his attacks because the PP of Fire Blast is so minimal in comparison, but hopefully that'll be okay. So, yes. Weather Cloudy, you don't say. Found a purple gummy! I don't think I've ever found one of those before. Another purple gum- Ah, oh, we're full. I can drop those thorns. I never use the thorns. Okay, floor 20. We've got to be getting close. Because floor 20! It has to be close, right? I don't know why, but I just like how they're both sleeping in the corners. It's cute. How about floor 21? Anything here? No, just more cloudy clouds, apparently. It's even- there's even an Aerodactyl up here. That's pretty boss, right? Oh, that bite's powerful. Oh, that bite was less powerful, but still hit. Stop hitting me. Just gotta be sneaky. And we did- no, don't info. Proceed. 
off to floor 23, where there's bound to be a ah, purple gummy. I'll fight this guy for a purple gummy. All right, bring it on. 24 or something here. Ah, at least there are more stairs right away. I wonder when I'm gonna reach that room, you know, where they give you free PP and there's that Kangaskhan statue where you could just save. Because I've been working with just the nudge for a while now, and Aerodactyl's a pain. Oh my gosh. 426, here's something, something. Kangaskhan room? Yeah, right when I was talking about it too. Because I beat the Kangaskhan, the next room was this. Yay! You know, so that's good. Full PP, I saved, we are good to go. Ah, good, good. Sky Tower Summit, first floor. What's here? Bullet Seed, all right, we should probably take that. In case, like, the last time, this is it, as far as, you know, like, the floors of the next area go, I'm going to explore the entire place, see if there aren't awesome TMs or the like. Holy crap, there are some awesome enemies, though. Jeez. Okay, I learned a new move. What was it? Whirlpool. Let's see what that is. Let's see. Inflicts damage on the target. It may also cause constriction, making the foe incapable of movement. Inflicts double damage on a diving foe. Okay, well, it doesn't seem fantastic to me. However, I frickin' hate takedowns, so we're gonna replace that. Move takedown be forgotten, yes. Riz learned Whirlpool. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, that was it. There's no down, it's just left and then back again, so we're gonna head on and go. Oh, there is another floor. Okay, never mind. We'll explore all of this then. Okay, I think we checked everywhere here on second floor. So we're gonna head on down or up to floor three. Where there's still more to explore. I kind of want to keep moving on now for the sake of PP, actually. Let's test out Whirlpool, so go! Okay, so it's about as strong as Water Gun, I'd say. Except it keeps them constricted. So I, I guess it's good. They're good enough. Here we go, up to floor 5 of Sky Tower Summit. Wait, there's a Solomon's waiting for us! Oh, we're getting hungry. Still trying to find the stairs. Everything's a maze, and there are like no rewards along the way. You just fight people. Stairs! We found them! Sixth floor? No, it's nothing, really? Gosh dang it. What, do I have to get to the 10? Here we go, ninth floor was something. Is this the top floor? Possibly. Who goes there? Who dares to trespass upon my airspace? He sounds funky, man. That voice! Could it be Rayquaza? Indeed I am. The sky is my domain. Depart at once. But we don't have the time to argue. We came here because we need your help. Never! Yeah, <laughs> okay. Yeah! They all sound the same in that sense. I am a being of the sky, and you are but denizens of the ground. To each, there is a world destined as their own. For hundreds of millions of years, never once have I descended to the ground. He does look pretty awesome, though. I really like it. And the opposite shall also hold true. What, the weak shan't go up? Let there be no mercy for those that defy the laws of nature. And he's gonna attack us right away, huh? Prepare for the end! Okay. And mud slam. Please don't say he's flying and it doesn't hit. It does hit! It like, okay, it does like hardly anything, but it hits, and that's what matters. So while he's whiffered up and can't hit us, we're gonna keep dropping his accuracy in hopes of not letting him hit us at all. And it will be glorious, I hope. Not water gun, go to Mansan. There we go. I don't know. I feel like this is just an overall good strategy for like bosses, you know? For other Pokemon. You know, like, you can kill him in a couple hits, typically bosses, they take a little more than that, which means that they can hit you a lot more often than normal Pokémon. So I feel that it's good to lower him as much as I can. So let's do here, one more. Okay, one more hit. He's Whiffered again! Good! I actually want to get him in Whirlpool, because if it does damage over time, I don't think it does, I think it just stops him from moving. But either way, it could be really helpful. So let's see, Mudslap, go! Okay, now I say we start using Water Gun. We're gonna start using Water Gun here. So let's set that real quick. Not outside. Let's set that. 
Good. Go! I don't think this works out well. He's still Whiffered. Still Whiffered and all those accuracy drops. I think we're going to beat Rayquaza pretty much no problem. Not quite as awesomely as we defeated Groudon, because that was just awesome. You know, like, perfect, flawless victory. But, oh well. Come on! Come on! Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, he's at double speed. Oh! No! Crap! Mud slap! Go! Use smoke screen! Thank you! He did it! I like when he listens to me. Drop it a little further. Like, I don't know if it keeps stacking the- Okay, Rayquaza's dead. We don't have to worry anymore. Well, good job. High five! Psst. Yeah. Good! Uh-oh. Yeah! That wasn't even my final form! Or is he just angry now? But what? An earthquake? It's not possible! We're on top of clouds! These are shock waves, and they're huge. Yes, they are. That's it. I got it. Look straight up, Rayquaza. Oh, frick! <laughs> hmm. Hope you could save that in time. What is that? It's a shooting star, and it's enormous. The atmosphere turned burn up and much deeper. It will destroy the world if it continues on its path. That's why we came, Rayquaza. Please, destroy the falling star! So, that is why. Yes, please, hurry and destroy it! Dots, before I try, I need to know your resolve. The star has come too close. If I were to loose my hyper beam here, you would not escape unscathed. So? We accepted that from the start! Well said. <laughs> and boom! This is gonna be cool. Oh, okay. Take charge of your destiny! Ah! Ah! 